Hey guys, this is Jules. I have a Wild Wicked uh, Crafts project to share with you guys. Uh, something really simple and um, yeah, let me share with you what I did. Move my sign. I made this switch plate, which is supposed is going to be for my craft room. Um, I have just the regular old plastic ones from Home Depot or wherever, uh, or Lowe's or wherever I, we got it from. And um, I saw this at a uh, craft warehouse not too long ago, well, a couple months ago, maybe a month ago. And I picked it up and it looked just like this. It doesn't come with any screws or anything. It's just uh, the piece of wood because you use the existing screws that's already on your uh, switch plate now. So I used uh, Pink Paisley's Butterfly Garden Paper. Just to, actually was a, just a scrap because it's just a small piece to cover in one of the fairies from the ephemera packet. So I'm going to just um, roll right into the video. Um, of my creating this particular project and if you guys have any oops, sorry if you guys have any questions let me know and um, I will have like links to the products that I used over on my blog um, but also in the video I try to show um, like the packages with the numbers on it if you guys are interested in stuff so I'm gonna roll right into the video and enjoy I'll talk to you guys later thanks for watching So here I just started painting the entire thing because I wasn't sure what I was going to do. So I just coated it just doing one coat of folk art acrylic paint. I believe this is the antique white or vintage white. Just got it well coated. So I took my heating tool to it just to make it dry a lot faster and it, it helps. <laughs> when you're impatient. Then I grabbed some of the pink paisley paper and measured it. It was just a scrap piece of paper and it worked out great. So I kind of just outlined it. And at first I was thinking, what am I gonna do with these holes? So I, um, I just pierced them just to make sure I knew where they were. So I did about a quarter to an uh, about a quarter inch on the edge and glued the paper down. You hear Charlie in the background. I apologize for any additional noise. So I just cut a little um, almost a, well half an X through it just uh, and then a little square on the inside to cover just the very inside part of the switch where the switch goes. I think next time I'm probably going to just cut out an X all the way through. But um, this way, it was easier for me um, so that there's no excess paper on the back side. So I just shave all the way around the edges with the emery board. Now I'm just about done. I just kind of quickly fast forwarded through that. You don't need to watch the entire thing of me sanding it down. And you can find these emery boards at like Sally Beauty Supply or Walmart, or wherever they sell emery boards or beauty stuff. I love these. And I just use some hot glue just to glue the inside in on the, the switch part. I have Charlie in my room. I'm, I apologize again. She's uh, just kind of running around and wrestling around on the some bags and stuff. So if you hear noises, that's her. So after I had it all cleared and shaved out and stuff, I want to do a whitewash to it. And I like doing this whitewash because it does give more of a shabby look, shabby chic look. Um, and it softens a lot of the color that's already on the paper. So uh, using a dry brush, um, I just grabbed a little bit of paint and it actually was a tiny bit damp is what it was. Um, just basically you were wiping it on. Then heat set it just to dry it faster again with uh, being a little impatient. So here's some beautiful calla lilies and some of the leaves and some other lily flowers. That's what they look like. 
There's the little cow lily. So I wanted to make a bouquet. And I just put those leaves together and I wasn't sure exactly how I was going to attach it, but um because it's kinda of, gets kind of hard to hold it all together. But it worked out in the end, as you'll see in a sec. So I grabbed some of those little pearl sprays. And I'll have the links to each um, item over on my blog. I'll try to for you so it's easy for you to shop. So I'm just kind of doing an arrangement because I want to see what it's going to look like before I actually tie it down. So I'm getting some of uh, Wild Orchid Crafts uh, seam binding. I love seam binding. And I'm just going to use this to basically um, tie it. Stop, Charlie. Sorry. So here's some of the, uh, some little lace. I can't remember the name of it. Um, it's a very dainty lace and I wanted to create a ruffle look and I didn't feel like sewing it. I wanted to try and see if I can do gluing, um, gluing the ruffles and stuff down. And I mean, it took a little bit of time, but, um, and I forgot my fingertips there, my pink glue gun helper tips, but it's okay. I used my little Crayola looking pencil and um, just it helps a lot to have one of these tools these are silicone type tools and it helps a lot with um, so that you don't burn yourself and uh, I don't have to touch it directly so you can see the ruffles start to form there on the edge and I think it gives a really nice look um, on the edge there lace and shabby chic I mean or for any shabby chic decor lace and flowers is like key to the look um, so I really, really liked, I love adding lace to my projects when it's a shabby chic type of project. One of my favorite, um, designs, I guess, is, um, shabby chic or styles. I love shabby chic. So I'm just kind of pre-measuring so I can just cut that off and... Kind of flipped it and looped it back over just to so that it's not a loose end up there. So here I was just thinking of just gluing down the leaves and you'll see that um, I end up putting some glue on the back of a leaf and I forgot to cut the stems off because I don't want, I don't need the stems to show, especially for where I'm going to position them. And you know, normally when I do a project, I don't know what I'm going to do. I just start pulling things out and um, playing with it and you know, whenever I, like this particular project, when I thought about making it a shabby chic theme, um, I was thinking, okay, what paper do I have that's shabby chic theme that I love? And I almost always go to butter to the, the butterfly garden. And um, I think it gives it a really nice look. Go lay down. So that's the paper. I did grab that. And then the rest just kind of came um I didn't know what flowers I was going to use until, until I started pulling it out. Because of the scale of the switch plate, um, it was, you know, I tend to go towards the wild curly roses, which are fairly large. And it was actually too big for this project because, again, the scale of the switch plate is kind of small. So um, I had to go to my smaller flowers. And um, I had some, some trouble deciding on what to use on the very top corner, but this bouquet came out perfect and exactly how I wanted. Um, I didn't want to use roses for the bouquet. I wanted to use something different. So I had the calla lilies and the regular lilies and um, those little pearl sprays, which gives it a, gives a lot of projects a whimsy look, adding something pearly to it. So, And then you see that fairy over there in the top right corner of the screen. Um, that's the only thing I use from the ephemera package. And um, that's all it needed, actually. When I used her, um, when I used her, it was it was just a perfect fit, and it was enough. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm just cutting off the stems and kind of seeing where I want placement. I don't want to hide the leaves behind the bouquet. I wanted the I wanted the greenery to show through it, so. Just tacking it down a little bit better there. Using my wire cutters um, to cut the stems off because it was too long. Makes a perfect little bouquet down for that corner there. 
I want to see where I wanted to place her. So I just had her like she's standing behind the, the leaf. She's just adorable and so tiny and it just fit perfectly. And here is um, a bronze butterfly charm from Wild Orchid Crafts. And I dabbed it with white acrylic paint and rubbed it off with my finger. And that was it for that. After I sprayed it with the scintillating silver, it gives such a shimmery look, and I just love it. I don't spray everything, but I do like to spray the majority of my flowers. Just making sure it's tucked down. And I made this bow, and I'm, I show these pieces because I want you guys to know that I don't think of things on the I mean, I mean, I think about things on the spot, but I do change my mind um, a lot of times, so... I did do that one bow and I didn't like it. So I'm gonna do a multi-loop bow, which is a little tricky for me. I don't know if, if there's an easier way I, I need to go and hunt for it, but um, it's a little hard to try and hold your loop still and to tie a knot. <laughs> but I got it and you can do it. It, it, is, it does give a nice look and um, you can do a lot of different things to your seam binding to give it a fuller look. You can do the wrinkling of it and um, do maybe extra loops to give it more of a fuller look. But I like how this one came out. I didn't feel like wrinkling it or glimmer misting it. I wanted to use it just plain and pretty as it was. So I'm just trimming the corners or the bottoms down. And I was thinking of using the little bow again on top of it, but it didn't work out. So I just left it alone. So, I'm looking at different flowers. My sediment on the corners, fluffing them out. And this is another one of those things to let you know that I don't, you know, I, I don't do everything as I think about it, you know. Um, I changed my mind through a lot of processes, so that didn't work for me. So I grabbed those new um, Gila bones, Gila bores. I don't know how to say those. I just had to glue those down. I didn't want them to come loose at all. They're beautiful flowers, by the way, beautiful, but look, they're they're just too big for it. So after a few flowers, I decided on some simple roses. <laughs> Glimmer misted those as well. I always leave a tiny bit of the stem on the back and then I press it back, like bend it back as an anchor. Um, that's why I never clip them all the way off. I do that with every rose uh, or every flower that has a stem, um, except for these particular little tiny ones. And these are gorgeous, gorgeous, tiny little rosebuds, you guys. They add a perfect, dainty, tiny, just a beautiful little look to smaller projects um, like cards or ATC cards. Um, this switch plate is, is like I said, it was a small scale and it just worked perfectly for this little, little spot in the corner there of the switch plate. I really like how it came out. Those just a couple of, you know, large rows, medium rows, a tiny rows, and then baby roses all over the place and in that top corner. And I just, I like it. So I'm adding shimmer to that one there. And there she is see a little bit of it there that's one of the tiny tiny little roses and yeah I use tweezers to add some of those because <laughs> they're just so tiny my my fingertips are bigger than it so it's easier for me to sometimes use tweezers especially to just slide them in there see and these are some of the new flowers that I got from wild orchid crafts and my design team kit um, and I shared those in uh, that video. So if you've not ordered from Wild Orchid Crafts, um, they have a variety of, of flowers and not only flowers, but it's more like a one-stop shop for laces and embellishments, buttons, twine, ribbons, and I'm talking silk ribbons, grow grain ribbons, um, seam binding, all kinds of stuff. Um, so it's a great place and uh, they do have a special if you shop and order 
place an order of $75 or more, your shipping is free, uh, which is great because they're from the UK. And from being so far away, their shipping is the, the quickest I've ever gotten. It was six days. So that's pretty cool, especially when you're wanting them so bad. So I just added some old paper distress ink all the way around the edges and I touched on the lace on the edge there and um, gave it kind of a yellowed look, an old look. Still keeping it a shabby chic feel. I didn't want to grunge it up so I used that color. And that's it. Thanks for watching.